What's up guys, this is Halloween Swing. In this video, we are going to talk about which one is the preferred software between Fusion 360 and Blender. By the end of this video, all your doubts will be cleared. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and let's start the video. So the first factor is downloading, licensing and price. Blender 3.0 is completely free to use and download, even for the commercial purpose. On the other hand, Fusion 360 hobbyist version is completely free to use. The current licensing price for the Fusion 360 you can check on the official website of Fusion 360. However, the majority tools you are going to use in Fusion 360 has been covered in the hobbyist version. I have listed the downloading links for both the software in the description. So at the end, I'm providing one point to both the software. The second factor is system requirements. Now for Blender, as well as for Fusion 360, you will need minimum of 8 GB RAM, but it recommends 16 GB to 32 GB RAM for optimal performance. Now, as you know, these both are the 3D modeling and CAD software. Hence, the higher processor and GPU you have, you will get the optimal performance. So at the end, I'm providing one point to both software. Third factor, use an application. With Blender, you can do modeling, rendering, simulation, motion tracking, video editing, game creation, you can make your own animated TV series, VFX, you can name it. On the other hand, Fusion 360 is a functional program. If you need an accurate and precise design, you can make it with Fusion 360. If you are an engineer or in work where you need a precise dimension and modeling, Fusion 360 is slightly better. Now at the end, I'm providing one point to both softwares because they both have tons of advantages. Fourth factor is a learning curve. Now this is the most important factor in all of it. I want to say nothing is easy in life, but if you are passionate about what you want to desire, it will easy and you will love the learning time. Undoubtedly Fusion 360 is easier than Blender. However, Blender is significantly improving their user interface. In addition for Blender, the call also depends what you want to do with Blender. For Fusion 360, it is really easy if you know any CAD software. Now the question is how long does it take to learn these softwares? For Blender, it will take in general around six to eight weeks. Now, it highly depends on what part you are learning. For Fusion 360, it will take around two to four weeks and you can play with it. Now, for that reason, I'm giving one point to Fusion 360. Fifth factor is a company and community support. Now, Blender has developed a massive community around it. So, if you have any problem, there is a very good chance that someone has had the same issue and you can find the solution. Fusion 360 is a corporation software, so there is a tons of online support available. For that reason, I'm providing half point to Blender and one point to Fusion 360. So it is time for the final thoughts. Fusion 360 has five points and Blender has three and a half. Now, if we check the points, Fusion 360 is slightly better than Blender. However, it depends what you aim for. In the end, I can say they both are exceptionally perfect softwares. There is a lot to talk about. And for that issue, we have one good news that I'm covering the entire guide for Fusion 360 and Blender on a YouTube for free. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thank you so much for being here guys, see you soon.